<laughs> hey y'all, hey y'all, Octavius Great here. It's been a long, long time since I made the video. So, I'm gonna make it uh, short and sweet and quick. Okay, y'all seen everything dealing with Ice Cube right quick. Dealing with the, uh, him working with the Trump administration. Dealing with a platinum plan. And I see that some people are tripping on it. Some people don't care. Some people are down with it, I guess. But let me just get my two cents on it right quick. Um, some of the things that I've seen that some people have said, I kind of agree with when it comes down to, oh, Lord, like Ice Cube over here working with the Trump administration, but, you know, now you finally saying something and you haven't said nothing, you know, after the Charleston event, uh, even at the beginning of this administration. Now, let me break break this down a little bit right quick. Okay. If anybody can just do a quick Google, Google search, you can see that Malcolm X put up himself that, hey, they're going to try to use celebrities, politicians, uh, athletes, and things to speak about the black issue. And the thing, the problem with that is these people are paid and bought for. Many of them are signed under contract with many companies. That's why a lot of them don't really say anything when it comes down to the plight of our people. Oh, yeah, they may make a cute little song have a cute little charity which is a tax break for them but overall we have all these black millionaires and um, billionaires and um, ain't nothing changing for the average black person think about that so every time something always goes on like I'm gonna use another example LeBron James LeBron James so ain't it crazy though how they soon putting all this pressure Vote, vote, vote. Everybody need to vote. Everybody need to vote. Census, census, census. Everybody need to do the census and stuff like that. It like it's an overall peer pressure on a social global scale, for real, for real. And in a sense, it's very unfair towards us, the people, for real, for real, because we have enough stuff going on. There's a whole so uh, a whole pandemic because I'm not calling it a pandemic because a lot of things seem like it's planned. Um, Still ain't no resolve dealing with George Floyd and no protesters and rioting that happened. Um, haven't heard anything about anybody catching the virus dealing with that. Same thing with Portland. Same thing with other places that have um, issues rioting and going on, but ain't nobody, ain't nobody catching the virus. You know. Now where I work at, um, I have to take quarantine meals. So. Um, certain days, you know, I had a nice amount of number, like 33 one day, and the next day it fell by half, which was, you know, was like 17 meals. Come to find out, they tested, tested a, um, a student, and he was supposedly positive, but the next day, come to find out, it was a false positive. So, that made me question also, okay, how many of these tests have been false positive? Yes, people have died, but you gotta also think there's other medical conditions that has been going on with people so you know you don't hear nothing about the flu pneumonia strokes heart attacks you haven't heard anything about that so you know there's a lot of things that we need to question now why in a sense i understand why people are out here doing whatever they want to do because it's been seven months um the rich and wealthy are out here living their lives regularly. I don't care what they say. They are living their lives regularly. Even the lady Nancy Pelosi, she living her life regularly. She had a whole person, had a whole hairstylist and stuff like that. Now, on top of that, from what I read this, read this morning, her and Wolf Blitzer got into it, dealing with passing that stimulus, stimulus check, uh, making a deal with Trump. And, and Wolf Blitzer, I never heard of him really getting into it with anybody he's interviewing or, or commentating on but they were going back and forth about that she was smiling uh, smiling about not making the deal what does that tell you about her like people don't understand these politicians just like how we don't trust on um, these politicians we shouldn't trust the celebrities either because a lot of y'all have not lived the life that we are living anymore y'all in a whole different tax bracket all these things that are going on in the country y'all them had tax break uh, tax breaks so in a sense it's cute to talk about oh you want to help your people but my thing is, you still benefiting from the BS dealing with white supremacy and these tax breaks for the rich, you know? Like, where's $1,200 to an average person? For real, for real. Many people could spend that up in a week, depending on what they're doing, depending on their bills, or even on their lifestyle, you know? I can't judge that too much because we all do our thing with our money, you know? 
But the thing is, when it comes down to opportunity to be able to have more or to get more, they keep on trickling it away, trickling away and coming down on us and have celebrities tell us what to do. You know, it's sickening and it's tiresome. So people need to, people just need to sit back and listen to a little bit more. I'm not telling you not to vote. I'm not telling you to vote. That's your personal decision. I'm making my own personal decision on doing what I'm doing. I don't care about anybody judging me. Or at the end of the day, they feel like some peer pressure type stuff going on. And on top of that, ain't y'all tired of being treated like we're retarded when it comes down to this um, COVID mess? Because at the end of the day, everybody, it's seven months, it's been seven months. Everybody by now, if you ain't getting it, oh, I don't know what to tell you. Most people I've been around, they wear their masks. Uh, people wash their hands. They really, really, others are the ones that don't be washing their hands. You know, you know how people do. Some people use the bathroom and run right back out. So, overall, you know, this is foolish. Um, and too many lies going on. If you just sit, just go back over over the whole timeline, how everything is going the past seven months, and you see how many twists and turns everything has gone off to be. Straight up. So, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be the presidential race. Get ready for even more craziness to happen because they, try, they, they have tried so hard to get this man out of office. Whether you like him or not, it's just like, okay, y'all put all this energy and money into doing this for what? And it did not work. That's the thing. It did not work. So, who money got spent when it came down to impeachment and all the other investigations? They're not paying for it. We are. So... I need for y'all to understand that to the highest degree that all these things that they are doing, they are spending money that could be benefiting us in our future. But, you know, hey, only a few people will understand that. Hopefully a lot more will understand that. Hopefully y'all get something out of this video I did. I'm not going to do no editing or anything like that. I just want you to see my face straight forward and hear what I had to say. You know, because it's cute to have graphics and stuff like that. But eh, who got time for that? Stuff is real out here. You know, other things going on in the universe. Beetlejuice don't blow it up and stuff like that. We're trying to figure out how to um, advance and get the soul right and all these other things that are going on on top of the mess that we're going, going on in the world. So it's a lot on men of, of our place and stuff like that. I'm trying to get myself together mentally, spiritually physically and all that on a great night it's tough and it's difficult but you know i'm working on it hopefully you're working on working on some things too because um from a little bit i heard this ain't um 2020 baby this supposed to be 2012 and it's really about to go down just look up the go uh, go Gorgarian calendar and look up and compare it to other calendars because time has been changed and we're like maybe eight years or a few years behind the ethiopian calendar is different from the Bulgarian calendar a lot of things we are doing is based off of greek and roman and you know how they ended and you see how we heading to and remember apocalypse doesn't mean that the world is going to get destroyed it's just the end of an age they're just going to try to make it the world destroyed because you see what they're doing because they are afraid and they don't they don't know but if they do know they're going they're going out out just out of control with it so y'all get ready they already try to do ufos and stuff so y'all get ready for them to try to do some boogie woogie type stuff so y'all have a wonderful day i hope y'all enjoyed the video share like all that good stuff all right peace